this design will not work, but I think I worked it out. What I tried to do is put it in a linear fashion where you got the plates. I was trying different size plate, plate lengths. This one's six inches and I've tried eight, 10. It doesn't really matter. What happens, as you'll see, when this goes closer to it, it only goes up to a certain point. It'll get almost up to the tip of here, but it really starts pulling right here. And you can feel the tension. Now, no matter what you do, um, as you see, I got one here with holes in it, and the holes, it does lessen the pull. However, the magnet, it just grabs back further, and it doesn't matter what you do. If, if you even try to bend this tip down, it just grabs back at a further and further point. And my thought was that two magnets would push the last one off that ramp, but the problem with that is that slows these two magnets down, and then it takes more energy to push the next one off and so on. So what I was trying to come up with was a way to get this thing to actually push off that ramp. And thinking backwards is definitely not going to work. So what I decided was why not just go forward and offer a solid plate right off of the top of here. And what I come up with actually, actually kind of works. However, the design change is going to be much different and much more difficult to make because now my stator has to have plates on the outside and the inside. And where you would put the new plate on top of this would be right about where it starts to, tries to grab. And with a little bit of momentum, it should shoot through and just start grabbing onto the new plates. So the new design, is gonna to have to be a squirrel cage. So this would be the rotor, and you'd have the magnets in here, and it would have to slide over the stator, which is gonna have plates on the inside and the outside. I'll try and draw a picture real quick of what that would look like, but let's see what happens when I add a top plate to this. All right, you guys, check this out. I got my plate on the top. Okay, and the, the ramp on the bottom that it can't get past. Let's see what happens. Just roll it a little, get a little push. Oh, not quite. Let's get a little more. Oh, it went right through. Let's try that again. won't go through every time but this is not perfect it's really sloppy so just give it a little push again it went right through it went right through again this could actually work so the new design would have the stator on the inside as well like this this is the best way I can show you where on the outer it starts out at a half inch and it ends up at say an eighth it'd be the same on the inside the inside would start out at a half inch and end up as an eighth. Of course, it'd be a little bit shorter. And in theory, if this whole thing worked in a straight line, you just loop it and you just switch. You just switch from one plate to the other. And I don't know if we're gonna run into a problem in the future where we get caught in the same scenario where it just slows down or not, but it seems like it could work. I mean, technically, if you think about it, right when you slide, the magnet rotor into the stator, it should start to spin by itself. If you have to turn the wheel, the rotor at all, just a little bit, it, it probably isn't going to work. I mean, we'll have to find out. All right, also, this is a really short plate being only six inches, and I haven't experimented yet with a eight or even 10 inch plate to see if, if I could actually start in the middle and see if it pushes it off the ramp with the other plates on there. Um, another thing is the point where you start the upper plate, is it right here where it starts to grab or can you bring it back a little more for better performance or does it go forward? This stuff all has to be worked out yet still, but the concept, it seems like it could work. I'm, I'm still at 
99% it won't and 1% it will, but this seems uh, very interesting.